Go for it. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, this talk is, uh, it's a condensed version of an earlier talk, so that's why there's like slides and stuff. Um, basically, uh, the idea here is don't leave parts unknown. It's a recipe for ethical documentation. Uh, who am I? I'm this guy. I'm a backend engineer, and also I do a lot of security things for a company called WeTransfer in the Netherlands. It's not very interesting. Uh, what is interesting is good documentation. Uh, you may think, oh no, that's not interesting. Uh, but trust me, it does. Uh, our jobs as developers and people who are interested in making things better for our coworkers and our users are easier and more interesting if people are able to do uh, security things for themselves. Um, or anything for themselves, really, but because this is a security conference, hoo hoo. Uh, the more people get security, the more people are able to pick up things that we're working on, projects that we're making, tutorials that we write, uh, the more people are able to implement things. Uh, and it becomes less and less of our job to say, oh no, there's a header missing, whatever. Uh, it's, and we, the, the things we get to tackle become more interesting, and the things that uh, other people get to deal with to come at us are also more interesting and more difficult. So, net profit, right? So how do we do that? So I think, uh, I don't know, this guy, uh, Anthony Bourdain, uh, sadly he died earlier this year, but he really had kind of this... Uh, over the years of his growth as a person, he became uh, well known for meeting people where they were. Uh, he started off as kind of like, yeah, it's crazy, there's drugs and I'm going to eat some weird meat and yeah. But then uh, eventually it turned into he would use that as an opportunity to really get to, to meet people and talk and work with them kind of in the spaces where they lived and worked. Uh, and I think we can apply these rules to documentation. So five rules. Rule zero, have documentation. Yes, good, okay, thank you. That's it. I'm no. Uh, rule two: You want to have friendly documentation. Uh, I think you should avoid. Or, uh, there was a really good tweet, and I can't find it anymore, and it's killing me. But the idea was you shouldn't in in your docs for your projects and your things. You should try to avoid words like easily or obvious or as you can see. Uh, did you guys see that thing with the last night? Anyway, the you can use this and just log in. It's great. Uh, but there isn't that for people's brains. Uh, you should be as explicit as possible. Consider your naming the uh, AWS documentation. Uh, sorry if anyone who works on that is here, but uh, it is a great example of how not to do that. They have like 15 different things that all have exactly the same name. Okay, three in this example, but really like, and that are interchangeable and, but are all actually the same thing. Anyway, so if, if you want people to use your stuff, don't do that. Three, uh, you don't have to read the text. It's just an example of what not to do. Uh, you want to have reliable, useful error messages. We get a lot of things uh, like in our in our uh, disclosure program that are like, "Hey, your website's on the internet," and there's like 800 paragraphs of text about why that's bad. But no, it's supposed to be there. Uh, so you have to think about kind of the the balance between when you when you send things back to users, like, is it understandable and does it tell them enough, but does it not tell them too much? That's really hard. Number four, uh, don't assume a particular level of skill. We like that, uh, uh, someone brought it up earlier uh, yesterday, the Mossad or not Mossad distinction. Um, a lot, most users, I would say, are not Mossad, no matter their level of skill, right? Where, where not all of us work for intelligence agencies, I assume, I don't know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, well, that's your own problem, I guess. Um, but what this just means, though, is that when you're working on documentation and writing things, uh, you you don't want to assume that people who are really skilled are going to pick up your stuff immediately, but you also don't want to assume the same thing of people who aren't. So you, it's, it's tough. Um, yep, so there's four things, and also have documentation. Uh, I think he's, you know, he said once, uh, you have to be a romantic to invest yourself, your money, and your time in cheese. I think the same thing is true of really good uh, project and system documentation. Uh, thanks, that's me. The end. <laughs>